Hey collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. So proud to be back in the presence of you guys. It's always a pleasure. All right, so let's go ahead and start the reading, you guys. Somebody is really bored because you're shining bright like a diamond and you're living your best life. They're bored with watching you and stalking you and looking at you. Because I do feel like it has been a missed opportunity because now they have messed things up so badly that they can't even take a risk with you. But see, you're a diligent type of person and they're an energy vampire and they're mad with you because you don't want to give them the time of day. So let's see what's up with that. All right, messages of clarity and truth for the collective. Thank you so much if you're a new subscriber. Welcome if you're not and you're an old subscriber. Hey fam, how you doing? Let's get started. My lovely hearts, messages of clarity and truth for the collective. What do you need them to know on this great day, Holy Spirit, pertaining to this energy? Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth for the collective. Pioneer, passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. Look, see, <laughs> you're an innovator. You're a pioneer, okay? You go toward things very compassionately. You see that heart right in the middle and it's shining bright. You get new ideas, you get downloads from God all the time. You're a very creative person. I feel like some of you guys might be an artist or maybe on a platform, but whatever you're doing, you are shining, okay? You are in the forefront. A lot of people look up to you, look at you, wondering what you're doing all the time as far as your endeavors, what's gonna come next from you, maybe content or whatever, okay? But you got childhood wounds on the bottom of the deck in reverse. It says blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds insists moving on through forgiveness see somebody is really insecure because they're having mommy or daddy issues they feel like they've been abandoned by you I feel like this person also looks up to you as well because they they consider themselves very enlightened they consider themselves as a mentor but I think they look at you as more of a mentor than they feel like that about themselves or how other people perceive of them they would rather people look up to them that way but they don't they have a mask on Okay, and I hope that makes sense. This person comes off as a very enlightened and woke person, but Spirit is saying that this person is a student. Okay, and you've taught this person a lesson. I feel like this person is looking at you on a platform or some type of way, okay? They want to be like you, is what Spirit is saying. All right, see, look, you got God on the bottom of the deck. It says, benevolence and compassion, recognizing the internal force within yourself and others. See, that's the thing. You attract people like-minded individuals even unhealed people you attract too but you you attract them to heal you don't attract them to stay like themselves like their old past selves you are a catalyst for change when it comes to people that are looking at you okay and i hope that makes sense okay what else holy spirit exorcist healer see come on now you rebuking demons collective you, you tell them, look, you gonna, you have to find God in you, okay? You're going to have to let God move through you. That vibration that you had, that old lack mentality, victimhood mentality, all right, it's time to let that go. It's time to get rid of the old things and become new, transformed in your mind, your heart, your spirit, okay? Exorcist. Come on now. Exorcist and healer. See, that's what I'm talking about. The thing with this is I really do feel like this person is upset with you because you you trigger them. That's the thing. You trigger them. Spirit is saying that you're an angel. And see, you find the lie too, detective. You're not a slave to lower vibrational energies. You don't allow them to take space in your heart, take space in your mind. You don't allow these energies to consume you. This person is mad about that because this person wants to be your divine counterpart. They want to be your companion. And if they don't want to be your divine counterpart, they want to be your friend at least, okay? They want to have some type of attachment to you. But see, you hold the key. Like you're very connected. You're very tapped in. You talk to God all the time. You pray. You meditate. Okay, you read, you gain knowledge. They don't understand you are the way that you are is because you are focusing on your higher self. You love yourself. God loves you and you love him. That's what it is. You know, people think it's so hard, but it's so simple. Okay, 
you're an earth angel. That's what I'm getting, collective. Come on now. They're, they're mad because they missed the opportunity with you. I'm telling you. And they watch you all the time like, oh my gosh, she's so powerful. How can I break through that? How can I just disturb that peace that she got? It's no breaking through those barriers. That light cannot be dimmed. I, I feel like somebody's very agitated with you, collective, because your light is just so bright. They can't disturb it. What else, Holy Spirit? Why are these messages here? Celebration, good times, spent in good company. You watch your circle. Okay, you make sure that you are around your mentors, like-minded individuals. You may go to your pastor all the time. You may have a lot of friends that pray for you. You pray for them, but you're celebrated amongst your community because of your hard work, because of your spirituality. Okay, you could also be a person who is just focused in every area of their life in all forms. Okay, career, love, even if you're not tied up to anyone or you may be single you're still focused on higher vibrational relationships that's what you're focused on okay so spirit is saying that somebody wants to come towards you and confess to you a secret all right they want to be very honest with you because you're a happy person you've created this new discovery that led to celebrations in your life because you loved yourself first okay but spirit is saying somebody want to talk to you they want to tell you how dedicated they are to you and that they had a negative thought about you a block i I'm thinking this person wants to apologize to you, collective, for what they've done. I really do feel like that. They want to realign with you. Spirit is saying that this person is manifesting you now because they're awakened. They've gained their balance. They've gotten rest. They're coming with the new mind. They're like, okay, I I've done too much. I know that. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Will you accept my apology? I'm really getting apology here. Okay. So let's see what this is. Holy Spirit, message of clarity and truth. What is this energy? I feel like this person is very bored with themselves. The life that they've lived. They're sick of doing things the same way. And you trigger them so much to the point where they know they have to change. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Ace of Fire. They want a new opportunity and passion with you. They might be very attracted to you. You may be a very attractive type of person, especially if you're an earth angel. Getting Empress vibes, Emperor vibes from this as well. You could be a masculine or a feminine. Take it where it resonates. Or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this person wants to create memories with you. They're having nostalgia. Four Cups energy. This person is very bored with themselves because they have to watch you now. Okay? I feel like they're alone in their room very lackluster energy okay looking at you like oh my god i messed up how do i get this person back how do i talk to this person how do i get this person to believe me that i've changed okay that's what i'm getting from this all right this person had put up illusions surrounding you rose colored glasses is what they tried to give you to put on okay but you saw through that you saw through the lie all right, they had some type of demonic energy attached to them, and you knew that you had to move along. Come on now, I can't make it up. Chemistry, passion, and reverse detachment and cold. You had to detach from this person because it was something attached to them. You couldn't put your finger on. You like, no, nah, no, nah, bruh. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to just walk on over this way because those eight cups over there are waiting on me. I think they got some in them. So I'm going to go check those cups out real quick, see what those cups are about. You know, so right now, we're moving forward collective yeah transcendence i can't make it up unity with spirit i'm telling you you guys you are very intuitive you're in this god conscious mind not not like a god complex but it's more of like spiritual oneness yeah spiritual oneness with spirit that's where you are okay you're very guarded as well you're very vulnerable but see you don't plant seeds with people who come in with this sexual energy like i just want sex with you type of energy you try to figure out what's going on with their mind like what are you doing to focus on your shadow work how are you trying to elevate spiritually that's what i want to know about okay i don't want to know about nothing else but that right now then we can focus on the other stuff but right now if their intuition is blocked if they're not giving you any clarity on anything you're going to block them see people that are not focused on their shadow side third eye in reverse clarity moon in reverse Dark night of the soul in reverse, you're separating from them. Okay? That's that's what you do. Cut off game strong. Okay? Not saying that you're better than anyone, but you don't want any dark attachments to attach themselves to you. That's going to distract you from the purpose that God has for your life. Okay? What else? Holy Spirit. 
And Spirit has been on one today, man. These last two readings have just been crazy. Ace of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some type of clarity coming your way. A conversation, a truth. Okay, somebody wants to talk, confession is here, twin flame. They want to tell you that they, they feel you're their twin flame, okay, and vice versa. This person wants to take action towards you, all right? They want to gain the courage to come towards you as well. They want to tell you that their higher self has been activated. They've been talking to God. They've been by themselves, all right, alone, secluded, hermit energy is what I'm feeling. You might be dealing with the Virgo, but this person has been in this repression mode this regret mode alone by themselves thinking all the time what can i do to reunite with my soulmate they felt rejected reunion regret higher self action they want to take action towards you come on now i can't make it up this person has been in fragmented energy because they felt like you were a loss for them okay yeah this person is coming up as a masculine in the upright this person is coming in healed what else Yeah, they want to plant seeds with you. Could be spring, but if it's not this spring and this person hasn't come towards you already, could be next spring or they just want to plant seeds with you, okay? This person wants to have compassion with you and they want to nurture this relationship. They feel like they were coming up out of their south node at first and that's the reason why you had to separate from them. You got north node in reverse, shadow side in reverse. This person knows that they were not concerned about their purpose, all right? And you had to detach from them because... These seeds were not going to grow. But see, Spirit is saying this person wants to renew with you. They want to rebirth something. Okay, they want to start over again. Fresh, new start, full energy. All right? Because they feel like they're guilty because you're their wish fulfillment. You're all they want in this world. And I do feel like this person felt like they were ungrateful for the gift that Spirit tried to hand them. And now they've resorted to just only watching you. And that's their punishment. That's their block. Spirit has put them on block. They're not allowed in your energy. Union. Integration. I can't make it up. This person wants to integrate. They want to come together. Avoidance. But see, Spirit is saying that this person may be a stalemate. Or this person may know that they're a stalemate in your life now. This person came out of pride and ego. And this person was very vain as well focused on themselves but now this person wants to take up their courage they want to travel towards you they want change this person is deciding to come towards you because they no longer want to project that lower vibrational energy onto you they can't end the cycle with themselves they're, they're telling themselves in their mind over and over this is not over okay i'm still attracted to this person i still want them i'm still watching them i'm still inspecting the situation i know there are cracks in this foundation it didn't start off right it was a shaky rocky start but i feel like this person is my home i want to create a family with them okay i want to commit to this person but see you're detached and cold and you're not even focusing on them you're not traveling you're not accepting any messages they might be on block but see this person wants you to be open to receive them because they're having nostalgic memories about you right now. Because things are not transforming in their lives. And I feel like once they attach to you, they feel like all of that is going to be over. It's almost as though, and I'm going to figure it out. I know Spirit's going to tell me. It's almost as though things are going bad in their life. And they feel like if they attach themselves to you, then Spirit has no other choice but to bless them. Okay? Because some people look at light workers as that. Okay? Or chosen ones as that. Earth angels. They feel like spirit is blessing this person abundantly. This person is getting wins all day, every day. If I can only get this person within my energy, if I can only surround myself around this person, then maybe my situation will change. And I feel like this person is in spiritual jail. Okay? And spirit is blocking them from a, a lot of blessings in their life because of their past behaviors and actions. And now they see the person who they should have been with, but they didn't act right during that time that they had them or either was in their energy. And now they want things to change. It's not fair. You shouldn't have to attach yourself to somebody in order to be blessed by spirit. You need to do your own shadow work, your own healing work. Go within, find God, and transform. It's simple. What else? Epiphany, breakthrough. I can't make it up. Transformation is what I'm saying. Y'all, I can't make this up. This person has had an epiphany, a breakthrough. God told them, look, sir, ma'am, you're doing too much. Okay? You need to transform everything in your life. 
I don't know why you over here looking at this earth angel, but this person is living in their purpose. They're going on their aligned path because I told them to. They're being obedient. See, what you need to do is be obedient. You attaching yourself to them ain't going to help your situation. Guarded, vulnerable on the bottom of the deck. Clarity in reverse. Their spiritual eyes have, <laughs> they were closed. They had limitations and fears. Toxicity bound by patterns. Spirit is saying some of, some of you guys are a divine feminine out there that is going through this. All right? For others of you, you're this divine feminine, this light worker. Take it where it resonates. Energy is exchanged. Could be a masculine within this lower vibrational energy and the feminine is the light worker or vice versa, okay? But Spirit is saying that this person wants a divine cup from you because they had a mask on and now they're having towers in their life over and over and over, okay? Let's clarify this energy. Holy Spirit. Messages of clarity and truth. All right. Tell me about the Holy Spirit. Leo, fire, ace of fire. What's that here? Fish in the sea, scattered attention, wandering eyes. It came up in reverse. See, Spirit is saying that this person doesn't have any more options anymore. Okay? Everybody that they try to attach themselves to, they're being blocked from because their behavior was not in alignment. They came out of very low vibrational type of mindset and energy okay this person yeah is getting karma uncomfortably right now uncomfortable karma guilty conscience bad mood bad blood that's what they created everywhere that they went and see look it says codependent patterns as well this is what this person used to do transcendence unveiling layers that came out Slowly unfolding love, getting to know the souls. See, Spirit is saying that this person knows that this light worker, you collective, okay? You're supposed to be the love of their life. You were the catalyst for this person's change, okay? And now this person is resorting to watching you. That's their punishment. Tell me about this ace of air, this communication, this truth. Softening the heart. That's what they want you to do. They want you to allow them back in, exposing the bare soul, showing the vulnerability. They want you to be vulnerable to, to them again. They want you to allow them to come back in your energy so that they can tell you this truth that you're their twin flame. All right? Tell me about twin flames. Losing myself in you, sinking into fantasy identity crisis. This person can't even figure out what they got going on in their head, mind, and soul. But one thing this person does know that you are for them. You are their twin flame. But see, this person is waiting on you because they feel like this is going to be an uplifted connection if they surround themselves with you again. Okay, they feel like also that this could lead to marriage. All right, but they do feel like their other half is missing and that you're not going to allow them to come back in. It's going to be one-sided. They feel like they're going to display their heart and you're going to tell them bye, basically. Tell me about seeds. All about material, hyper-focused on finances, status, and fame-driven. See, look, I'm telling you, some of these individuals that's coming back into your life's collective, they're only focused on superficial things, all right? Money, very materialistic, okay? All about finances, only focused on possessions and worldly gifts, okay? So, Spirit is saying that some of these people that's coming back ain't focused on no twin flame connection nor love. They just want something that they can get because you're getting blessed, all right? So, watch out for that. Tell me about integration and union. Reaching conclusions, a sudden realization, a choice being made. See, this person had an epiphany, breakthrough, and uh, transformation is here. This person knows. Spirit told them, you're blocked because this person was the person you were supposed to be with. All right? But now it has reached its conclusion and you're a stalemate. You need to be in alignment you need to find yourself that's the reason why this earth angel is avoiding you is because she's not he or she is not allowed to come back toward you and you're not allowed to go toward them because you're not doing your healing work this is your focus you need to focus on you right now all right struggling alone i can't make it up all right dark night of the soul suffering and scarcity this person is scared literally 
they don't want to be blocked from anything and I do feel like this is one of the times that this person has been in this type of situation and never knew that God could literally break them down the way that they have they possibly have never felt like this in their life but I feel like if they really raise their vibration and overcome this situation they're gonna be a powerful person going forward okay but this person right now had this breakthrough and this epiphany but will they change is the question all right stalemate avoidance tell me about that holy spirit so close but yet so far complex separation holding on but letting go this person has accepted both aspects that they have lost you but they're still energetically holding on to you okay even though they're a stalemate you don't know that this person is watching you on a platform but this person is watching you very closely all right and it is saying that this person is still struggling alone all right this person doesn't want to do it by themselves they don't want to heal by themselves they feel like they need a friend a lover or something or you yeah tempting offer can't make it up that's why they want to come in and talk to you and tempt you so that you can come back and dance with danger for some of you, this would only be temporary if you decided to go back to this person. That's what Spirit is saying. I do feel like at one point, you and this person were supposed to be aligned in some type of way. But I think it was more of a lesson than it was to be a union. All right. And the majority of you have been directed to go towards your life purpose after interacting with this person. But this person wants to integrate with you. They want to become a union. They don't want to do the healing part. Okay, they haven't accepted the lesson. They they understand that it is a catalyst for change, but they're not sure if they want to do that. Tell me about Epiphany Breakthrough. Two came out on this one. Dream talk, meeting in the astral plane, lucid dreaming, distorted mirror, self-criticism, unworthy thoughts. Yeah, they don't even feel worthy of your energy. So this person projects their energy onto you in the 5D. They do try to talk to you energetically there because they do feel like that's the only way that they can become one with you is talking to you in the 5D in the dream state. OK, so a lot of you may still feel this person collective. You may feel this person surrounding you always in your energy, always seeing them in your dreams. And that's the reason why is because this person can't gain you in the physical in the 3D. So this person wants to come to you in your dream state because they feel like they're your spiritual husband or wife. So that's the only way you guys can be in union. All right, on the bottom of the deck, you got center, falling victim to temptation, mistakes, and lessons. See, that's what I'm talking about. This person had a lot of past behaviors that they wasn't addressing, and they are not willing to heal those issues. And that's why spirit is blocking their behinds because they won't do the work. Tell me about transformation. They're bored with their life in general, but they want all the blessings that God would have for a person who was obedient. But they don't want to do the work for it. Moving forward, steps, forward, forward footsteps, drowning in pain, making the best possible choice on the correct path, empty emotions, coping mechanisms. This person is drowning. They're hurting right now. Okay? They, they know that they have to transform their life. That, that's what hurt the most because they have to do the work. Otherwise, they're gonna to continue to stay in this pain. They have to move forward and, and make the best choices that they need to make on the right path. That's the only thing that's going to purify their soul. And if God is directing them back to you, if you guys are supposed to be with each other later on down in life, that's the only way that they can do it, is if they purify their soul. They have to connect with God. They have to overcome obstacles. They have to heal. They have to address their demons, period. Angelic healing, shining inner light, okay? So let me go ahead and get a couple more, and then I'm going to give you guys some advice. Holy Spirit, tell me about this person. Does this person want to change? Does this person want to change? Holy Spirit, do they want to change? Holy Spirit, messages of clarity and truth for the collective. Does this person want to change? Messages of clarity and truth for the collective. Does this person want to change, Holy Spirit? Fear of commitment. This person has a fear of commitment. They're afraid to commit to change, to commit to you. Okay? But see, like I said, this person in a direct message is telling you they're not going anywhere. Even if it's in the 5D, they're not going anywhere. They're not willing to release the control. Okay? I feel like there's nobody surrounding them right now. This person may be alone. By themselves very secluded hermit like but they're afraid because see you really are their true love but they don't want to do the work what else will this person change overcome these obstacles 
they're intentionally holding back stuck lack of effort waiting for you to take action see they're waiting on you but spirit told you to do something else that's the thing you're being obedient in your path you're aligning you're shining you're healing people one by one you're you know exercising demons i hope that's the right word to, to put it as but you are literally being divine right now and they're intentionally holding back they're not being serious with life with you or anybody else serious offer in reverse they have nothing to offer you sexually transmitted disease in reverse free agent in reverse i'm trying to make you jealous see this person is not in the right mindset right now collective this person may be entertaining other people. I do what I want to do mentality. They're trying to come up out of this type of energy. And also, this person may have underlying health issues that they're not addressing as well. Okay, see, look, this person is addicted to sex. If you guys have not had sex, this person has a sex addiction to other people. But this person misses you. They really do. They miss you. But see, this is one of those things where you got to go and heal somewhere, bro. You can't be attaching this dark energy to this person who's trying to be full of light and do what god told them to do period all right so let's get some advice collective messages of clarity and truth for the collective you need them to know how the spirit pertaining to this information i'm hearing this person has a choice to make great choice is going to change their lives one day it's going to teach them something that they allow God to come in and change them all right workshops seminars new partner daydream in reverse look it says attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose be open to teaching and learning see that's what I'm talking about I said look you guys y'all on platforms I don't know what y'all do for work Y'all might be a YouTuber, a reader, a spiritualist, a spiritual healer, or a, just a person who gives guided messages online or, or affirmations or something. You're just an encourager, okay? So Spirit is saying that you're working on yourself spiritually. You're gaining knowledge from a lot of people, whether they be mentors, whether they be at workshops or anything, or you're just a person who public speaks, all right? And you just give encouragement to the masses using your platform. So continue to do that because that's part of your life purpose. Like I said, you guys are being obedient in your walk with God. Okay? With spirit. And right here it says new partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruitation of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life you will recognize them by your sense of familiarity comfort and safety spirit is bringing a new partner into your life all right also for some of you spirit is saying that this person came into your life for a reason to teach you a lesson to show you that you had a purpose this was the catalyst for you to get an alignment with your spiritual path so that you could find your divine counterpart okay spirit is saying that you had to release and surrender this person you couldn't stay stuck by daydreaming about what this would be and how this would be with this person this person is stuck on you daydreaming what is it going to be like with the collective all right i know that they are my person but I wonder, will they come back to me? You ain't got time for that, collective. You too busy working. You focusing on service. Keep that same energy, okay? Because that's what spirit wants you to be and wants you to do, okay? I hope this message brought you a lot of clarity and advice. Comment below if you resonate with the message. I will see you guys in the next reading. Also, subscribe to the channel and like the video. All right, my lovely hearts. Be blessed. I will see you guys later. All right, bye.